welcome back in this video we will monitor status of servers and try to generate email alerts so you can see on the screen this is the outcome we want to achieve in the end uh, this is my gmail and uh, i am able to get the alert please check all the previous videos which were posted for the wlst i am sure that you will get the good insights for the same all the links are mentioned in the description so please check out if you are new to my channel don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and soa development so let's start you can see a simple script on my screen so here we are trying to connect to wlst so here we have a variable that is servers and we are trying to get all the server detail using current management object and here we are printing some lines and also printing domain name so that it looks good and here you can see we have a for loop where we are trying to get the name of server and the status this function is already available in the runtime so you won't have to write the definition of this function and finally we'll print another line to close this output so let's try to connect wlst and see whether we are able to get all the server details using cmo.get servers or not so we are in the terminal now we'll run java weblogic.wlst so we'll connect so when we run pwd function you can see we are inside server config runtime and here we'll try to run cmo.get servers and you can see it is returning the list of servers and you can also run cmo.get name it should return the name of domain now i'll run exit and we'll try to run our script so i am inside my script home and this is my script this is the same script which we have seen earlier so we'll try to run this and this time we'll pass the name of a script so you can see it is able to capture the state of servers but we want to send this output to our email so for that i have done some modification to our script so let's see that so you can see we have another script on our screen and uh, you can see we have two definitions uh, for the functions that is get server state and get server status so the execution will start from connect and uh, in this variable we are going to get the server status it means it is going to call this function and it will print the name of domain here and after that we'll get all the server names in this server variable and we'll run a for loop here and again we are going to call get server state which is this uh, function and we'll pass the name of server one by one once we call this function it is going to go inside domain runtime and then it will retrieve the mbean for this server runtime and uh, in last it will return the state of server if the server state is null it is going to return not reachable you can print any state you want like shutdown or unknown so here we are printing not reachable if you scroll down we are writing the server status output to a temporary file so we are going to open a file that is server underscore status dot txt in the write mode and uh, we will write the output whatever we are getting inside this variable and then we'll close that file so let's try to run this script so i'm creating another file here let's save this one and similarly we will run this script here So execution of a script is completed we'll see the text file
and you can see in the text file now we have the output for the server status now the next step is to send this output over the email so we'll try to write one shell script and we'll send this over email if you are not able to send emails from your linux box then don't forget to check this video the link is in the i button and the description as well now you can see a simple shell script on my screen so in the first line we are trying to set wlst environment using this script so we are running this script here otherwise you'll get error while running java weblogic.wlst in the script this is the script home where we have our script you'll have to change according to your script home and here we are trying to go inside script home and then we'll just run this command so that we can execute server status.py so once we run this uh, there will be a output file generated that is server underscore status.txt and once this is generated we will be sending one email using mail and this will be the subject line for that email and this is the recipient mail id and whatever data we have inside this txt file will be sent over the email so let us copy this to a shell script and run we'll create one shell script here save this and let us run this shell script so you can see it is executed successfully let us see what we have inside this txt file and you can see we have the status of the server now we'll check our email so you can see on my screen that we have received one email and the subject line is server status and this is the body where we have status information of the servers so in the production grade environment you might need to run this script all the time so that you can monitor server status so we'll configure cron job so that we can run this script all the time for that we will run cron tab minus e so we'll add our script in the cron tab and it is going to run every two minutes you can configure the frequency as per your requirement we'll save this and now we should be getting email alert every two minutes from this cron job so you can see we have started receiving alerts from the cron job and uh, every two minutes we are going to receive one email but this can be overwhelming if you are getting the alerts every two minutes all the time so we'll configure our shell script in a way that it should only generate alerts when server is down or all the servers are not running in the domain so let's see how to modify our shell script so that we can get the alerts when it is needed otherwise it will not send an email so we have another version of the script here and we have added a variable that is server count so in our case we have four servers so the value is four and uh, here we have a status count so we are counting uh, the number of times we have running in the server underscore status dot txt file and if that count is not matching then only we are going to send the email otherwise it is not going to send email so currently we have only two servers which is running so it is going to generate alerts over the email after that we will change the server count to two and then we will see whether it is going to generate alert or not so let's see this in action so i have modified my script and we'll save this and let us run this shell script in the verbose mode for that you can run with minus x option and here you can see it found only two running in the text file but the total server count is four so it generated the email alert and we should get that alert over the email and you can see we got this email now we'll change the server count to two and see so we'll change the server count equal to two so remember this is just for the testing purpose in your scenario you'll have to put the server count uh, to the actual value and whenever all servers are not running in your environment you will be getting the alert so we'll save this and again we will run in the verbose 
please note that the output which you see here is from the set wlst.sh so now you can see that the status count is 2 which is equal to 2 that's why it didn't send the email so guys that's it for this video i have uploaded this script in the git and the link is mentioned in the description so you can simply get it from the git and use it in your environment if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and don't forget to leave a comment so that i can come up with different different topics for you thank you